Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a review on a really awesome Lionel train. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this review. Um, even though it might look like an unboxing, it's just a review. I'm just going to show you the box. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy my video. And let's get started and I'll show you what train I got for Christmas. Because I did get the train for Christmas, and it's a really, really nice train. So I want to show you guys the full effect. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so this is the train that I got for Christmas. Um, I'm just showing you what the box will look like when everything was inside the box. Like, as you can see, you can see the train right here. This is the powered locomotive. Um that you would get in the set. Um, this is a star starter set. So, um, yeah, so this model is by, is by Lionel. It's 19, so it's the 1900s. It's officially licensed by the company, by the way, and it, it's pretty cool. Um, anyway, um, it's a Metro North Railroad M7. M7 is the type of train that the Metro North Railroad leaves uses in New York. Um and it's a line shift control oh wait, remote control system. As you can see right here, that's the remote. Um looks really cool. Um if we can uh turn um I'm gonna turn the box and I'll show you um what the features are. Alright guys I'm back. This is the features that you would get with the Metro North, the Railroad M7, ready to run, old gauge remote train set. Um, so, here is the, um, here's a category of the M7 powered car features. Because, that's what I showed you before. Um, it, com it comes with electric M7 powered car controlled by remote. Um, rail sounds, RC sound system with the background sounds. User activated horn announcements. Uh, powerful maintenance free motor, interior lighting, manually, or, oh, whoops, uh, operating headlight, and manually opening doors. Um, let's move on to the second category, which is the M7 non powered cars feature. Um, manually opening doors and interior lighting. Um, the Lion Chief remote features, forward and reverse speed no control knob. Three buttons to activate horn, bell, and special announcements. Or, sorry if you can't see that. There you go. I'll read that again. Forward, reverse, and control knob. Three buttons to activate horn, bell, and special announcements. Requires three AAA alkaline batteries, not included. I already have the batteries in the remote. Um, the set features the set length is 45 inches. The layout dimension is 40 inches times 60 inches. Um, so that's how much you would need to use. Uh, um, but this train already came with um, track. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't really um, have to matter that much what kind of track it needs. It just needs the track. There's the old gauge track with three rails on it so that's what you need but it doesn't really matter what 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 you need for the rail but as you can see there's a picture down here showing what the thing looked like so let's get it out of the box and I'll show you the cars and remote alright guys I'm back um, I got the train out of the box, and I'm going to show you one by one what the set included. So, let's get started. We're going to first start with the controller. This is the Lion Chief controller right here. It says a Metro. Or, hold on, let me focus it real quick. It says, oh, that wasn't up. There you go. As you can see, it says Metro North Railroad, 4137. That's a locomotive number. It says Lionel since 1900. 
Um, as you can see, this is a knob with forward and reverse. Pretty cool. Um, and this is the three buttons to activate all the sound effects. Um, this is the um, horn, sound um, announcements, and bell. So that's what you would need. So um, actually, I forgot to tell you that I actually have another train that has this exact controller, but it's just something else. I have the Lionel 10 year anniversary Polar Express, which pretty much has the same exact controller as you can see. This is the Polar Express controller that I own. This is the Lion Chief set too. It's completely the same. The only difference is that the Metro says Metro North Railroad and the Polar Express says Polar Express. But the numbers are, are different. 4137 and 1225. Let me actually show you if you don't know what I'm talking about. The 10 year anniversary train. This is the 10 year anniversary ste steam locomotive built by Lionel. Um, as you can see, um, if you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen it on my channel, um, this is the 10-year anniversary Polar Express. Um, as you can see right there on the piston, it's a 10-year anniversary on it. Um, but this is the Berkshire. If you're not, if you're not, do not know about this train, but this is the. 10 year anniversary Polar Express. So, this train runs on a Lane Chief Control Unit 2, which is pretty cool. So, let's move on. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the powered, uh, gosh, sorry. Um, Let's move on to the powered locomotive, or, um, metro. Alright, so this is the powered locomotive. It's awfully, really, er, it's a really, really nice model that Lionel has made. It's really, really detailed, and I have to say that it's, like, it looks really good to be a model. Like it, do it does look like it can be in a city right now because it looks such detailed right now. Um, I have to say that Lionel did a good job on this on this locomotive. Um, let's just do more to detail here. As you can see, or if I can move the camera closer. If I can move the thing closer, you can see all the details. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, as you can see, it has really, really nice detail, I have to say. Um, or let me just put it down the camera real quick. Okay. Sorry about that. So as you can see, you can see all that detail that Lionel did. It looks really nice, to be honest. So let's go into detail. So let's start with the front. As you can see, um, the train has operating lights on the front. It looks really cool. Um, the light, these lights right here, the two ones right here, not the red ones, but these two on the top two um, work. Um, let's look in the detail and to see what the front of the train has. So as you can see, the, the train has window wipers, which is kind of funny. Um, there's a door in the middle that the M7 model has. Um, it says Metro North Railroad on the side. Look at that. I have a pretty good camera. But... Yeah, you can see how much detail that Lionel put into this train, and it's it looks really, really nice. Also, you can kind of see in there, or maybe if I, like, raise the camera a bit. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's some seats in there. Or there's a seat in there, right there, for the driver. It's right there. If you can see that, it's pretty cool. 
Okay, let's move back on to the side. Okay, so here's the number of the train, 4137. That's what it says on the Lionel controller, 4137. So th that's why it's powered, because it has 4137. Um, as you can see, the door has some pretty cool stickers on it. It says emergency entrance window right here. If I can, there you go, you can see it says emergency entrance window. And then up here, this sticker says watch the gap, warning watch the gap. I'm not too sure what that says. The bottom under the watch the gap and I don't know what that is but that's pretty good detail to add that in um, as you can see there's a handicap thing let's move on let's look at the windows the windows is really cool because you can see all the seats inside the locomotive that's really good that's a really cool detail um, let's move up as you can see this is the sign that would tell oh whoops um as you can see this is the sign that would sh tell you where the train is going but lionel didn't really want to do that but it's it's fine because like it can't put that much detail into it but it would be cool if they did but this is where it would be on the, on the other side too so yeah that's pretty cool um let's move on to as you can see, it's at four, it says 4137 on again, and then here's the back. Same thing. Let's turn around. Same thing again. Oh, yeah, forgot to tell you that the manually opening doors, there's like a normal lever right here. Um, let me show you guys. There is a normal lever right here. They can use to open the doors. If I can, okay, there you go. If you see this no tap thing, you can push that side to side to open the doors. And let me just show you how cool it is to open the doors. Look at this. It looks really, really nice. It looks really, really nice detail. On the other side, does it too. On both sides do that, so like, for example, if you're like doing a layout, if you're doing like a layout for your trains and you have this train, it's a, um, you can like open the doors on both sides if you're like, if like, if the station is on one side and you don't want to open the doors on the other side, then there's no, or if the platform is on the right side and there's no platform on the left side, then there's no point of opening the doors on the left, so the only, so the right doors will only open. That's a pretty good detail that they put the lever right here. So you put, so probably like with the sound effects, you can sync that up. Let's look at the bottom and see what is under carefully because I don't want this thing broken. Um, as you can see, right here, this is the the mod or the wheels this is the power wheels um with the gears on this is the gears right here that moves the train and it's connected to these wheels so they don't even move all four so these are the driver wheels um here's the third wheel the third small wheels for the third this is the controls or I think there's a control box. Um, I think there's a, a speaker right here. Uh, here's the sounds, the sounds switch. Um, oh, f um, the, the switch is actually broken on mine, so I have to get that repaired because one of the sounds is missing. Um, so this switch is completely loose. So one of the the background sounds are not working so i have to get this train repaired but it's fine i'm just going to show you what what i have now and then when i get this train repaired i'm going to show you the rest
Or right, I'll show you the rest in this video. I'll just tell you that it's unrepaired. So it's it's fine. Um you don't need to worry about it because I'll get it fixed. Don't worry. Um anyway, this is the third wheel. Again, these are freely moving. But that sound switch is completely broken, so it's missing one of the sounds. The background sounds, but the res the rest of the sounds that are in the controller do work. So yeah, that is the Oh, forgot to show you the back. Um as you can see on the back, near the back, there's more seats right here. Yeah, okay. Oh, oops. Get back into focus. There you go. Alright, let's move the camera back real quick. Um sorry about that. Let me move the camera back real quick. There you go. Sorry about that. Um, as you can see, there's like a little pin right here, and that is for the connections, and it says 4137-4137, and there's a door on the back. Pretty cool. So that is the powered train. Now let's move on to the two non-powered <laughs> trains. Alright, let's get to that. Alright guys, we're back. Um... I have the two extra non-powered, or uh, two non-powered tra train train cars. Sorry about my English. I I don't know what's going on, but here is the second one um, that is supposed to connect to the powered uh, car. Um, as you can see, it is very identical. Um, the only difference is that the front is has a connection and that's what I was talking about the pin because that no pin on the back holds this into a whole thing and it's spring loaded as you can see so if you like if you want to take one of the cars out and if you have your like rail powered right now and like if you want to like not take it off the track um they yeah, can always just pull push it down and then it'll come off the back. It, it's pretty cool. Um as you can see it's very identical. Um the only thing is just the front. And also different model number. No nope. not different model number, but different number. It's four one forty seven instead of four one thirty seven. Let me just show you that but it's not identical okay as you can see the powered wheel or the powered locomotive is 4137 and the other one seems to be 4147 so the only number was three that was changed all right let's put that locomotive back over there all right okay so it's very identical um, the o oh, the only difference, um, is the number and the two ends. Um, the other end is similar to the front, but the lights on this one do not light up. Um, unfortunately, this is not the back car, because the pin is right here, and that's for the last car. So let's move on to the last car. Just put the locomotive on the side, and we'll move on. Alright, we're back. Alright. So, this is the last one. This is the last car that it came with, because this is just, just a starter set. Um, I only have three cars now. But, maybe sometime I can get more to add on. But I'm not too sure how much that would cost, though. But, let's just move on. Um, as you can see... Identical. Um, it has that pin, the the connection again. Same thing. The number is different again. It's f oh, whoops. Focus in. Focus. Focus. There you go. As you can see, it says four one fifty six. So they all start with four one, but they both, but they all have 
different numbers. So it says 41, 56. And this is the last car. So as you can see, there's no pin on it. But it looks very identical to the rest. As you can see, that there is nothing on the bottom. And this is what's on the bottom of the powered cars. As you can see, it's not really much to it. Because these are just powered, unpowered um, train cars. Um, this is the third. Um, as you can see, if you look at the two train car or the two wheels right here as you can see there's like a little there's a metal piece right here that that gets the power from these these wheels on this wheel and these and this one same on the other side too and also forgot to tell you, show you guys that it does have manually opening doors too all of them do oh whoops that's not supposed to happen there you go. Kind of having trouble with this one. Same one on the other side too. But that's it, everyone. So let's actually move on to the track. Let's get on. Let's get the train on the track and see how it runs. Let's get started. All right, guys. So this is gonna. This is the track I'll be using. I'll be using four, four turns right here. One, two, three, four. With, with, um, with five straights. And then another four turn. Another four turn wheels. And then five more straights. So it's a pretty, a pretty long track as you can see. Pretty cool. Alright guys, I got the train on the tracks. I got the power rail right here. Got the wire connected. I I haven't connected all the way even though it looks connected. So I'm gonna turn on the train with you guys. Let's get started. In three, two, one. Bam! As you can see, whole train is lit up. Awesome. As you can see, the lights on the front are completely on. Look really cool. This is the inside of the car. As you can see, the whole train is lit up. The windows. Every single car looks the same. But you can see all the seats in there. It looks really, really nice. Um, sadly, um, I don't know why, but Lionel did not really put detail on the last car for the lights because they would have been they would have lit up the back lights red because that would be the last car if it was the front car on an m7 it would be the headlights on but it um but it would but if it would gosh for the train would be going forward um or if the train would be going this way then these lights would have come on but if, the, if it's going the other way, then these would be red. So they would have been putting detail into that, but they didn't really want to do that. But it would have been much better if they did that. Alright guys, so let's sim simply go through all the um, sound effects. So this is the controller. Oh, um, I forgot to show you guys. Um, for some reason, my controller, or it could be happening to all yours, but if I have my controller on and the train is off it will start blinking like crazy like that i'm not even too sure what that actually means it could be me it could mean that the train is disconnected and there's no point of using the controller but i don't know why it does that but as soon as you plug the train in it's like voila so yeah, guys. Also, I forgot to show you guys. Or tell you guys, or I already told you guys that I'm missing the background sounds. So you just have to go with three sound effects right here. Um, I have to get the screen repaired. Um, so just stick with what I have, please. Don't judge me. 
um, I, I really don't know what happened to the switch. Like, like I was just gonna turn on, I was just gonna turn on one of the sound effects, and then all of a sudden I just heard a snap, and then the whole switch just came loose. I don't know what happened there, but that's what happened with mine. All right, let's simply go through all the sounds. All right, let's first start with the horn. That's a very nice sounding horn, I have to say about it. Um, pretty cool. Um, also, I forgot to tell you guys that this train has more than one uh, sound effect. Um, it actually says it in the manual. I'm gonna get the manual and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Like, this is one, one of the sound. Let me unplug the train because it does take time. So, let's do one of the sound effects just sitting. As you leave the train, please watch the gap between the train and the platform. Yeah, that, that sound is really cool. Like it says, but the train says if it's at a station and stuff. But it looks pretty cool, I have to say. Lionel did a good job on the set. Alright, let's try doing a different sound. This is the train to Grand Central. Nice. So, as you can hear... That it says, this is the train to Grand Central. That's pretty cool, because Grand Central is in New York. And New York does use these trains, so it's pretty cool. Let's try doing another sound. Okay, if you didn't know what that noise is, that's actually the doors closing. And that's why they put the manually opening doors and the switch on the side. So, like, let's just, like, try it. Like, let's just, like, do, like, cosplay and stuff. Like, if you want to do, like, cosplay and something, you can always, like, do this. Like, like have the doors open, and then you want to press a button, and then you could do this. Yeah, you can, like, do cosplay and, like, sync up the sound with the doors. Pretty cool effect to do, I have to say. That's a really cool. That's really cool. Um... Let me got, let me show you guys the manual and see what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so I got the manual in my hands. This is the M7 Subway Lion Chief Ready to Run Owner's Manual. Um, this is the actual manual. Um, if you do have this chain, um, I suggest you go look on page 12. On page 12, it says... Triggering announcements with your Lion Chief remote control. Your locomotive, or let me focus that real quick. There you go. Your locomotive plays a variety of announcements that are designed to match the way you play with the locomotive. You can trigger announcements that correspond to each part of the journey. When the locomotive is sitting less than 30 seconds, it will be doing stationary announcement 1. When it's sitting less than 30 seconds again, it will be doing stationary announcement 2 if you press a button again. If it's sitting more than 30 seconds, then we'll be doing stationary announcement 3. Now, that's when it's just sitting. When it's mo when the locomotive is moving less than 30 seconds, we'll be doing move move me moving announcement 1. When it's moving less than 30 seconds again, we'll be doing moving announcement 2. When it's moving more than 30 seconds, we'll be doing moving announcement 3. So that's pretty cool. So, I already did all three sound effects just sitting. So, let's actually give this chain a run and see if we can do the sound effects. So, we're going to finally see this thing roll, roll out, and let's see how this guy does. Oh yeah, before I do anything, I just want to show you guys the, the last sound effect, which is the bell. Um, I'm gonna do the other sound effects when it's moving, so we'll just do bell two. All right, let's try doing it. Hold on, there you go. Cool. So that's what a bell would sound like. That sounds pretty cool. I never knew that M7 actually had this kind of bell, but it's electric, so I already know that. But pretty cool sounding though. Alright, let's finally give this guy a run. 
Right, let's give this guy a run. As you leave the train, please watch the gap between the train and the platform. This is the train to Grand Central. Alright, let's get, let's give this guy a run. Oh! <laughs> if you didn't know what happened there, I accidentally, or the train accidentally hit my camera and then knocked it over. That was not good. Alright, let's try doing the sound effects now. That's something I never heard before. Train to Grand Central. 